Hello everybody, Brad again on YouTube, and I have once again a fragrance review for you guys, and this is the uh, L'Occitane Green Tea with Mint fragrance that I got off of eBay. I think I paid about $25 for this used bottle. This is how much juice was left. Kind of, I'd say at least like 75% of the juice was left. Um, so I thought uh, that was okay. I think the uh, retail... Originally, it was around $45, $50 for this bottle. It uh, didn't have a cap on it. Um, but, the, yeah, this fragrance is hard to find uh, because it is discontinued. You'd have to pretty much go on eBay and bid on a bottle, maybe get it for around $20, $25 used. Um, anyway, the uh, fragrance is classified as unisex, and it contains musk, green tea, jasmine, mint, and caraway. And what I actually did here is I did kind of a side-by-side -side comparison with Elizabeth Arden's Green Tea Spray, which was the other green tea fragrance that I had tried a while back. Um, now, I mentioned in that review that uh, it was pleasant, but it was a, you know, a tad bit uh, feminine because, you know, of the floral elements, but uh, bordering on unisex. Now, the, uh, the one I'm reviewing here, the Green Tea with Mint, uh, yeah, I think it's probably a tad bit more masculine because uh, it doesn't have the floral aspect of it quite so much. What happens with this one is that I think you replace a lot of the floral notes with a sweet note. So it's to me, it kind of gives me the effect of if I took like a cup of hot green mint tea, uh, stirred maybe three or four teaspoons of sugar in it and just kind of held it under my nose and it just kind of wafted it up into my face. So it's very uh, similar to that smell. Um, just gives you like a, a cup of tea smell on your body. Um, uh, to be honest with you guys, I'm not sure if I'm overwhelmed by this fragrance. I'm not sure if it's uh, what I would call a great blind buy, in my opinion. Um, it's something I might try once or twice a year in the springtime just to change things up a little bit. Um, actually, I think I'm more impressed with this one. I mean, this one has a more natural tea floral smell it's kind of like you walked out into the garden and you got that really fresh floral tea smell maybe a little bit of mint this one just kind of smells like somebody just you know stuck a cup of tea under your face and it just kind of went up into your nose that way so this is more of a you know a less natural smell to me but uh it's okay i mean if that's what you're looking for if you're looking for the effect of green tea um with some sugar you know as a fragrance you know, maybe check that one out. Um, a lot of people say the green tea kind of gives them kind of like a boost. It's kind of like a natural uh, stimulant. So maybe for something just for your own personal pleasure, maybe that's something you could wear. Um, I don't know if it'll get you compliments or whatever, but, uh, you know, it's not offensive. It's, it's a fine fragrance and uh, something that you might want to consider wearing occasionally, especially in the springtime. So there you go. That's pretty much my take on this fragrance. Just uh, an okay fragrance for me, kind of like a cup of tea with some sugar. Uh, not really that minty. It's just uh, sweet and kind of a tea-like scent. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.